Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked which of the following ordered pairs out of this list satisfies this system of inequalities. The easiest way to do this is to plug in the x value of each of these points and the y value and see if they satisfy the inequalities. So let's just do number one or number a for example. We have x is equal to negative two, y is equal to negative one. So if we have y is less than or equal to three x plus one, y is negative one, so negative one is less than or equal to three x is three times negative two plus one. Negative one is less than or equal to three times negative two is negative six plus one. Negative one is less than or equal to negative six plus one is negative five. Negative one is not less than or equal to negative five, it's greater than negative five. So we know A is not true or is not, does not satisfy the system of inequalities because it does not satisfy this first equation. Moving on to B, x is negative one, y is three. So doing the same thing with this equation, y is three is less than or equal to three x is three times negative one because x is negative one plus one. So three is less than or equal to three times negative one is negative three plus one. Three is less than or equal to negative three plus one is negative two. Three is not less than or equal to negative two. It's greater than negative two. So again, B is not your answer either. C, going again, Y is five is less than or equal to three times X is one plus one. Five is less than or equal to three times one is three plus one. Five is less than or equal to three plus one is four. Five is not less than or equal to four. Five is greater than four. So C is not your answer. Now, by process of elimination, we know that D must be the answer, but we can just test it just to see. Y is negative one. It's gonna be less than or equal to three times X is two plus one. Negative one is less than or equal to three times two is six plus one. Negative one is less than or equal to six plus one is seven. Negative one is less than or equal to seven. So this does satisfy the equation. You have to test for both equations. Again, if you didn't already know that it was D by process of elimination. So we have X minus Y is greater than one and X is two minus Y is negative one greater than one. Two minus negative one is plus one distributing the negative is greater than one and three is greater than one. So it satisfies both equations, which means we know for sure that D is gonna be the final answer.